Hi everybody, it's Twyla's mom, Lisa, and today is Friday, March 10th. And you know what that means, we go grocery shopping right after work. Well, I didn't do a lot of grocery shopping today because I have to work tonight. Mm-hmm, yeah, and I'm not too awful happy about that. Yeah, mm-hmm, because I'm working for someone who got the night off. Mm-hmm, yeah, a anyway. I'm not going to talk about it. Not going to talk about it. But I did want to go to Aldi's today to check out, I think it was Judy Parks that told me in one of the comments that Aldi's, her Aldi's had the rolling drawer carts. I think the last time they had them at an Aldi's, they were different colored or you could get the white ones. But oh, I really wanted one. So I rushed to Aldi's to see if they had one today, and my Aldi's didn't have it. I mean, yeah. But I did go to Aldi's, and you know I had to go to Dollar Tree. I had to go. It's just the thing. You gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I got at the Dollar Tree today. I picked up some more birthday cards. I... I like to keep a stock of birthday cards handy. So I picked up some different birthday cards again, just four. Then I found these. These I have not seen, and they are wonderful. I don't know if anyone else has even hauled them. But they're these little notebooks, and this one says dream. This one says smile. And this one says amazing. And their covers are like a... They almost remind me of a moleskin. Yeah, they're very soft and supple and oh, of course they're not moleskin, but the fun thing about these books, they're almost like a mini, is it a perpetual calendar that doesn't have the year on it? But right down here on the bottom of the page, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but in this row right here is the month. You circle the month, and then you circle the day. Yeah. No year. So, you could have this for seven, eight years, and still use it. And every single one of them is like this. Have you guys seen these? Have you seen them? I haven't seen anyone else haul them. And they only had three styles, but the box that they were in were completely full. So I'm thinking this is the only three they had. And these are mine, but next week, if they still have them, I'm going to pick them up to put away in the giveaway stash. Yeah, because I just love that. You can do journaling. This could be a diary. Um... It could even be like a mini planner. So, oh, wow. I just, oh, the, and they just feel so, oh, they're so butter soft, buttery soft. Oh, okay. I'm going to get off of it. But yeah, found those. Then I found some more new notebooks that I haven't seen anyone else haul either. These are by the Jot brand and they're three pieces. So you get three packs of them. And they have, this one says Joy, and it's kind of a silver um, embossed kind of look to it with a flower. But they've got Joy, Peace, and Love. All three of those in here. And these I'm going to split up and use in friend mail. Yeah. I thought these were so neat, and I haven't seen anyone else haul them. And then they had this set. And it's got the puppies. And see, it's got three different styles of puppies. Let's see. Those, the black and white ones, I think, are um, what are, border collies and a pug puppy and a Jack Russell puppy. Now, it's kind of blurry, but yeah, you get a set of three. Then they had this set, which is just like the the different polka dots but it reminds me of like a camera kind of a little bit like a, a um, the lens of a camera 
and it has a gray one, a blue one, and a pink one, or a silver, blue, and pink. I thought these would be great in friend mail, you know, split them up and send, send one out in friend mail. So yeah, those were new to my store. Then <clears throat> I'm picking up, you know, stocking stuffers, things like that throughout the year. And I found these three pack of little boy socks, size nine to 11, and you get cars, you get stripes, and you get these. The only thing is I could not find any for my youngest grandson, the three-year-old. Well, he's still two, but he'll be three by Christmas. I couldn't find any in his size. But I found another package with the cars, the blue stripes, and the, yeah, red and black. That's for two of my grandsons. And then this is for the third grandson. And his is the same as his big brother's, the cars, the blue, and there we go. But they didn't have any three packs for Lucas, my youngest, youngest grandson. They, they had one packs, but they didn't have three packs. Mm -mm. So, uh, poor Lucas, I haven't found a thing for him this year. I will though, I will. I needed some more lotion for work. This is great because it just, it's a tube. I can put the lid back on. It doesn't get, get messy in my book bag or anything like that. So, picked up some more lotion found a new coffee cup and it says coffee time on both sides and then right here along the edge it has espresso and uh, latte mochiata cappuccino chocolate coffee and then right there it says 100 percent coffee so yeah i picked up another coffee cup which means i will probably get rid of my radio one. I've had her for years and she's not sentimental. I, I don't even remember where I got it from. It wasn't a gift or anything. But I have so many coffee cups that from now on when I buy a new coffee cup, I have to let one go. Yeah. <laughs> then I love these chocolate Easter eggs. They're chocolate with peanut butter in the middle. And I know a dollar for a piece of candy, but, but I just love them so much. So I picked up a milk chocolate one, and then I picked up two of the white chocolate ones. They're just so good. Couldn't help it. Couldn't help it. Picked up two more packages of razors for my summertime shave my legs. Yeah. Don't lie. You guys know you don't shave your legs every day during the winter. Yeah, I'm like once a week during the winter time. <laughs> oh well. Let's just leave it at that. Anyway, I'm getting my stockpile ready. Yes, I am. Then they had these in their crafting section. These are new to my store. I'm sure they're not new, new, but my store had never had them before. But you get the, they are the paint palettes, and they're pretty decent, you know, but they are heavy duty plastic. I can't even bend them. And they come six, six in here, six. So I picked these up for Twyla because she is always using acrylic paints and things like that. And she likes to mix and stuff. I thought these would be perfect. So I'm gonna hold on to these until Easter and uh, always get her a few little treats for Easter. I don't get her a whole lot now that she's older and no longer believes, but, <laughs> but I do get her a few little special things, yeah. Cause she's still my girl and she still lives at home. She moves out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Then my Dollar Tree got the beads in. So I picked up some blue beads and I picked up some pink ones and I use these a lot in my shaker projects. So picked up blue and pink. And the clerk at the Dollar Tree said these were selling quick. She said that they were selling quick. So I'm glad I, I got the two I wanted. 
They had browns and blacks and greens, but I have plenty of those colors. Then I picked up another milk. They had the whole milk. Yes, they did. And this is a staple in our house. I've gotten to where I just don't even buy fresh milk anymore because, yeah, when this is chilled, well, even when it's not chilled, you can't tell the difference between this and fresh milk. And this I can stock up, put it down in my stockpile, and, yep, I will always have milk. Got the lava cakes. Yes, I did. I only picked up two because I still have three in the freezer. I've been trying to refrain myself because I don't want to burn myself out on these. I did not pick up pork rinds this week. I did not do it even though they had it. And I didn't do it because if you have seen my Menards um, haul from last weekend, I have tons of potato chips, so didn't do it. I was good. I almost did. I picked them up and put them in my cart. And then I'm like, what are you doing, Lisa? You've got all those potato chips at home. So I put them back. Yes, I did. Now, I found some um, wall art. And I found this one. Family is a gift that lasts forever. Isn't that pretty? And then I found this one reach for the stars shoot for the moon and then i found this one the heart the kitchen is the heart of the home and then i found this one that says latte i am going to try to get like an 11 what is that 11 by 10 11 by 12 frame not the 8 by 10 the next size up and i think i'm going to reframe these and then like put a border you know around it because i i found one of the 11 inch um frames at the dollar tree just and i kind of just compared it to see if it would fit and it will fit but you'll have about this much just a little tiny bit on each side going around that's just empty so I think I'm gonna try to find some nice paper to put a border around it and I'm gonna do that for all of these and if they turn out good I may give these as gifts yeah I may do that I think those would make nice gifts they had our favorite bread. Yes, they did. They had the million dollar bread. But then I got disappointed. I was gonna pick up three loaves of it, three. But the other two loaves I had to put back because the crust on the top looked like it had almost been burnt, yeah. So I just picked up one of the million dollar bread. Oh, well, but to replace the million dollar bread, I found the San Francisco sourdough. Yay! <laughs> and we like the sourdough too. So, yes. Okay, guys, that's it. That's all I got at the Dollar Tree. No new stickers. In fact, they barely had any stickers in my Dollar Tree. Yeah, they really didn't. They barely had any. Um, so I'm hoping that's a sign that they're cleaning house and we'll be getting new stickers. Mm -hmm. And then I mentioned something to the clerk when she said something about these beads selling out. You know, selling so quickly. And I said, well, I wish you guys would get the decorative tape. I said, I call it washi, but you guys call it decorative tape. She goes, well, we've got some hanging back there. And they did. They had about six rolls. But it, these six rolls, I've got like two or three of each one of these. And they are old, old washi tapes. And I told her, I said, well, I watch YouTube. And I see all these people bringing home this nice washi decorative tape from their Dollar Trees. I said they've got wash um, rubber duckies they've got trucks they've got 
all of these nice tapes. This woman, instead of saying, well, I'm sorry, you know, I'll, maybe I could keep my eye out for you or whatever. You know what she said to me? She goes, well, I wouldn't know. I don't have time to sit around and watch YouTube. I'm like, well, okay. You don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this clerk. Uh, I had her a couple of weeks ago. I, she's a new employee. I don't care for her. In fact, there was the last time I had her, the first time I had this clerk. And she works, I guess, Fridays now because the second Friday I've been there. And she was wearing her green t-shirt, which they, at my Dollar Tree, they don't have to wear the same t-shirt. As long as it's green, they can do it. This lady had stains all over her t-shirt. That would not have flown if I was her boss. No. No. It would have been like, um, clock out, go home and change, and then come back. When you're working in customer service, you need to be presentable, in my opinion. So, okay, we're going to quit ranting. I'm sounding very, very grouchy today. I know, I know. I'm in a mood. I'm in a grouchy mood, and I think that started a couple of days ago when I found out I was, well, I didn't find out, I was asked if I would work this Friday night, and then me and my boss exchanged words about it and gave him my opinion on the people that should be working this machine instead of me. And then he goes, so will you please do it for me? Because if I do make them do it, they're just going to call in. They're just going to call in, Lisa, and we are desperate to get this product out. And he has a point. I'm not going to call in unless, of course, I'm really sick or my children are really sick. Or if I call in, it's an emergency. You know, I'm sick, the weather is bad, whatever. Well, so I did say, okay, fine. Now, Saturday afternoon, we're getting some bad weather here in Missouri. And I did tell him, I said, if you think I'm working Saturday, you're wrong, because I will call in. We are supposed to get that snow. You know this. And he goes, I know. And he goes, I've already told the one who lives here in town, because I live 35 miles from my work. He goes, I already told them that they had to do it. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see if they call in. He goes, they probably will, and we'll have to shut down. I said, I'm sorry, Darren, but I'm not going to tell you I will be here on Saturday since it's so important. And I won't be if we get that bad weather. So, I, yeah. Yeah. Here I am trying to explain why I'm in a bad mood and I just go off on a tangent, don't I? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to think about it. All I'm going to think about is I am going to be making more money and I've got to buy a prom dress this year, so yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get off here, but I need to get to bed. <laughs> so... Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I love to hear from each and every one of you. Bye.